China has way less population density than that of India. But uh, if population growth is not controlled, there will be like various diseases like COVID that we recently faced. So I think that will come before the... As my friend says, there is no relation with uh, poverty and population growth and I slightly disagree with my friend because there is a relation between the population growth and also poverty. Because uh, uh, if there is much population growth, then also poverty rate also increases because already there are many people who are in the poverty line. So we have to... There is a... Con population growth is a control manner is bad, good. But, uh, in a large population growth is... Uh, yes, uh, as I uh, mentioned before, we are giving a proper education and agriculture food uh, to the population, so there will be development in the situation. So if you I increase mean, productivity, then automatically... Yes, the so we should find the literacy rate and develop what should we do. I agree with my friend. friend uh, we should look after stabilizing the population growth as uh, we, the, it will increase the demographic dividend of the country and we'll have a younger efficient population as in the, India is a technologically booming country. So we, a younger efficient population will be more helpful. Okay, the next one. So for me, the next priority will be infrastructure. Because if a country does not have good infrastructure, it cannot give proper education, proper health care and proper food to the citizens of the country. And if we recently look at the union budget, it was announced that it will focus more on the capital expenditure, which is basically the amount of money that will be spent on the infrastructure, which will be de wholly developmental for the country. I slightly disagree with my friend um, on uh, infrastructure, uh, because um, uh, the as he mentioned, uh, that uh, the capital expenditure, a hike of 33% in the capital expenditure in this year's budget uh, uh, to create uh, a set a set and to create infrastructure so that uh, um, unemployment will not be a problem for India. I slightly disagree with my friend because I think uh, before the infrastructure development we have to grow our job opportunity because nowadays unemployment is the big issue and lacks of people's uh, suicide, suicide cases takes place due to the unemployment rate. So if we generate em employment or job opportunity, so it, this is very beneficial for uh, our economic growth. I slightly disagree, disagree because, because I do not think we can uh, get job opportunities unless we unless have proper infrastructure. If we build more hospitals, if we build more schools, there will be the need for more employees which will create job opportunities in the long term. And more factories will be set up due to which there will be more uh, uh, job opportunities for uh, even labor, manual or skilled labor. I respect your opinion, but I think uh, there is uh, infrastructure uh, which is necessary, but uh, there is no job opportunity nowadays. So Without having an infrastructure well, development, uh, we will not have job opportunities. I slightly disagree because now we have, uh, uh, under Atma Nirbhar Bharat, we have decided to set up semiconductor factories in Gujarat and uh, there there will be um, uh, there will be need for manual and skilled labors. So it will also create job opportunities. Next one. Uh, for me, the seven, uh, next option is job opportunity. As I uh, mentioned, that uh, in uh, creation of infrastructure will create various job opportunities, and uh, the problem of unemployment will be solved to some extent. Yes, I agree with my friend. Uh, as we have discussed, uh, the infrastructure developments will create so many job opportunities. So it will be an issue. Yes, I agree with him because job opportunity will automatically contribute to the country's GDP and. Uh, India can be a country As I put infrastructure in my sixth priority, then I am go I go with uh, agricultural growth as my seventh priority because uh, uh, India in a good position in agricultural growth. But if we focus uh, on agricultural growth, then uh, this is uh, more beneficial for the development of our country. So I think agricultural growth will be the next priority. I agree with all your opinion, but my opinion is slightly different. Uh, as I have put the uh, infrastructure in my fifth priority, my next priority is uh, foreign exchange because we have recently seen some uh, financial crisis that are happening in our neighboring countries like Sri Lanka. Uh, because of that, if we do not have proper foreign currency, we do not are really, not really maintaining that. We cannot really expect to get good de good deposits from the foreign like the FDIs. So if we maintain the foreign currencies more, we can uh, strengthen our country's currency better, which will be useful for the overall development. I agree country. with my friend uh, because uh, under Atmanirbhar Bharat, we'll yes. be manufacturing everything in uh, India and exporting it to foreign, which will attract foreign exchange. And also uh, the creation of uh, the infrastructure and job opportunities and manpower in India will attract foreign direct investments. What is the seventh point? 
to the next one. For me, the last option is uh, the last priority is poverty. As I think, after um, uh, solving all other problems in our country, the poverty will ultimately be eradicated. I slightly disagree, but if there is a poverty in the society, we cannot really expect the people to contribute something. They will eventually slow us down because we have to provide some education, provide them proper health care. We will provide, we will have to provide them with a lot of schemes in order to get them out of the poverty. So as soon as we can do that, we can think about the development of our country. I also agree with my friend. First, we should eradicate poverty and get respected our people. Then we should give them the opportunities and we should help them. I slightly disagree because the country cannot look after every other person, uh, every person in the society. So it's better to uh, create mass employment, mass uh, education, and mass literacy rate should be improved. So after that, people can take care of themselves and they can eradicate poverty. It will eradicate poverty at a whole level. But if a person is under the poverty line, he cannot really afford education. He, he, he cannot really. For that government has introduced yes, various there schemes. There are various schemes I know. But if we look at the report, almost 15 percent of India is sleeping in a hungry stomach every night, which cannot be ignored. We have to provide them with food first. We yeah, have to provide them health care uh, first. Conduct campaigns and make them aware of the uh, schemes that are coming up. Schemes that government is uh, help uh, bringing up to help them. What is your opinion? As I have put job opportunity in my seventh point, my next priority should be foreign exchange because if job opportunity will be higher, then the rate of NRIs will be high and the deposits, foreign fixed deposits will be, foreign okay. currency exchange will be much more and so. Okay, the G is so much, it's a nice G. What should group consensus? For at first point it is poverty, at second uh, and third point we did not agree, so there is no consensus here. Uh, for, th for fourth point, uh, all of us agreed at education again. For second and third second we are agreed agriculture and education, and in third, fourth point uh, we are agreed with population growth, and in fifth and sixth we are agreed uh, in infrastructure and job opportunity. And in the last two, we have uh, foreign access and later. What's the problem? Second. Remember one thing, whenever you are discussing any G, give the priority of the group. Write down which is the priority. What's the problem? Then the interview board will take this slave. You have your group priorities. But you don't have the one group consensus of That means automatically you are in rejection from Means you are not accepting the group consensus. So you have to, means you are an individualist person. You have own thoughts process, you have own prioritize, but you are not respecting the group priority. So somewhere when the group does not come into consensus. But you have to write down, suppose two are speaking one, three are speaking two, at that point, you write 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Clear? Whatever the majority is saying, you take it as a grant, that is the group consensus. Yes. Getting the point? And this is a major problem everybody is doing in the SPIG. They are writing their group priorities, they are not writing, the, they are writing the day priorities, but they are not writing the group priorities. So you have to write the group consensus part. Second. Any GE, it does not matter how you speak, how much uh, fluent you are in English, that does not matter. Because in the State Bank of India, you can speak English, you can speak Hindi, you can speak Hindi. There is no barrier. Suppose you are saying English, you can speak Hindi. You can speak Hindi. You can speak Hindi. There are 17 states in which the GE is conducted purely in Hindi. Your Madhya Pradesh, your Uttar Pradesh, your Bihar, your Jharkhand, your Chhattisgarh, your Delhi. Right? Only the Kerala, Karnataka, Tamil Nadu, Andhra Pradesh, Odisha, we people are focusing on. Maharashtra, we people are speaking in English. English. So be careful, don't uh, be so ashamed to speak in uh, Hindi. You have to speak in Hindi as well as the English. Suppose you are speaking in English, some words are not come to your mind or it is not uh, at that time yes. is uh, viable for you then use the Hindi words no problem that's it every word 
every GE expects a fast one. Yeah. There is a leader. Every words you are ordering, what's your leadership quality? Second one is how the teamwork is. Third one, how you are respecting the others group members. Fourth one, how uh, moldable you are, means according to the situation you are changing, right? Adaptability, your eye contact, listen more, speak less, listen more, speak less, right? Make a team, make a team. Group exercise means it's not an individualist. If you are running individualist, SBA will fail. Well, run as a team, SBA will success, right? Why the organization failing? Because you are running individually. Somebody is running in the north, somebody is running in the south, and everybody is not ready to accept the one. Either the statement of the head or the chairman or the group head. That's why the group is failing. That is the main motto of the GE and the GD. Clear? Getting my point? So first GE is over.